Yep, but let us know what you're about to say to this hot 179. Your dirty J Nick Slides Gown Radio. DJ Cash, the fly Haitian kid. I'm in the building. So, you know, we always interview cats that's popping, that's doing their thing. And this is a person that I definitely were happy to interview. Sometimes I get phone calls from labels and be like, you want to interview this person? I'll be like, no. This guy <laughs> definitely was like, hell yeah, I want to interview him. Roddy Rich in the building, ladies and gentlemen. What's good? What's good? What's going on, man? Man, I'm chilling. Let everybody know where you're from, man. And I'm from Compton. Compton? Yeah. Now, you saw, like, this song, this song, this Die Young song, been moving around. I've been in the club and people singing at the top of their lungs, but don't know where the hell you from, where you came from. So yeah. give us a whole rundown because you like like a mystery kid. But then I look at your look at look at your Instagram. You got like four hundred thousand followers. Like you going crazy. Right. So introduce us. I'm from Compton, man. I'm from the projects. Okay. Uh, the Women's Arms on the west side, right across the street from the Compton Airport. Okay. Yeah, that's where I'm from. So how long you been doing your thing? Um, uh, since I got out of jail last year. This is a big thing with guys getting out of jail and doing music. What happens you, in jail? Been doing music for a year? I mean, I've been rapping for a long, okay. long time, but I'm talking about like you took it serious. Yeah, about getting you. in the studio all the time, like all that shit. Oh, getting in the studio and everything that that type of thing. So, so was 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 jail a turning point that made you be like, you know what, I need to get my shit together? Yes and no. Like, I mean, jail is one thing, but when you wreck your car, go to jail, everybody turn on you. They think you, you know what I'm saying? That make that's motivation to want to do something else. So I was just like, you know, I mean, jail was kind of one of the things, but it was but a lot of stuff. back against the wall, period, yeah, it's been like, yo. a lot of stuff that was going on that made me like, all right, it's time to go. Okay, so your style is kind of different. I mean, we was having a discussion about just the California sound. What's the California sound now? Because some people get it twisted, like even with me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah, J. Nicks think you supposed to be in a 6'4", like, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. That's what he think. You know what I mean? Nah, I just feel like it ain't no particular sound for nobody. I feel like no nobody should be in a box, whether they from Atlanta, New York, L.A., I feel like nobody should be in a box, like. I just I don't I don't like that like that stigma like where people do you get that be. a lot like people say oh you don't look like you from Cali or Every you don't sound I, like you from I Cali. Every time I talk to somebody from somewhere they be like I thought you was from where I'm from. So I just, like, <laughs> no matter where they from, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, I got this girl told me I sound like I was from Louisiana when she heard like that's a lot. I was from there. I was yeah, like, I don't nah, believe I don't, that. I swear, I ain't got a lot. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm saying I don't believe that <laughs> yeah. she even thought that. Nah, that don't make I, no sense. She, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but you know what that shows? That shows that everybody feels like they could relate. Yeah, everybody that's what I take it as. And that's, that's I mean, shit. I make music from my from my point of view. So I feel like it's some people out there that's going to get it. Ain't some that ain't. I don't. So Feed the Streets too. Yeah. So how did this whole Dream Chasers thing happen? Because uh, I, I seen Meek online. He crowned you with the uh, DC channel. Are you signed to Dream Chasers or how does that work? No, that's, that's like my big brother. You know what I'm saying? So this, this the chain is just a symbol of like, you know, that's my dog. Like, you know, he done taught me a lot of stuff and, you know, schooled me to some stuff and we be we be kicking it. Even not even on no music, it just just different it's just aside from the music, it just always remind me the the stuff he like the morals and stuff he taught me. It just I just, it just keep it with me. Right. Know, like all the time. Wait, well, let me backtrack for a second. Yeah. Back to the whole sounding like a certain region. Some people will say, um, some people would argue that like Kendrick was one of the guys that came out of Cali that didn't sound like he was from Cali. Yeah. Like, what do you think about, like, who kind of set it off as far as, like, damn, this person has just got a, their own style. It doesn't necessarily have to sound like they're from Cali. I don't, I, me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, like, Kendrick, he, he, he's, he cool. Like, he, but he, I don't know, he teamed up with Dre. So, like. You gonna win. I feel like he <laughs> he with Dre. Like that's that's like the ultimate West Coast. Like that's right. like one of the pillars of the West Coast. So so how was your come up? Because like I said, that 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 West Coast is totally different. Like what is like growing up on the West Coast? Like you know what I'm saying in, in your eyes and your shoes. Because for you to even make it all the way over this way, you you got to be moving, moving. I just feel like any it's all struggle. Like when you come from the hood, it's just struggle. Like that's what is relatable. It's not really just being from a region. Like, you know, you you if you come to the city, you'll notice a lot of like some of the Louisiana people are, are, are fuck with like like some of our project niggas, and it's because they share the same struggles. Right, you feel me? It's not because of no lifestyles, and then like like people are starting to get to understand that like now that now social media and all that shit, like you open to see what people are going through. So it like it's more common and relatable. It ain't really like no I feel like it ain't no segregation between no hood niggas no more. Do you think yeah. that's why people feel your music and think that you're from their area? Cause they could relate to the struggle. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. 
that's a compliment to me. I don't really look at it like that's a bad thing. Even though, I mean, I got Compton tat. I got my projects tatted on my arm. So if you don't know, like, I got two C's in my name for a reason. Right. If a street nigga know, they going to research why niggas had two C's in their name from Compton. And then they'll know. Right. But I don't, I don't know. I just feel like if you want to go that deep, you do your research. <laughs> right. Right. Out. If not, I'm rocking. I'm